What's up, y'all? This is Captain Diesel here coming to you live um, uh, with a workout in which I did not create. Uh, this workout uh, is uh, one of the workouts from CrossFit uh, Lynchpin uh, 12, also known as the uh, uh, Lynchpin Dirty Dozen that was created by uh, Pat Sherwood. You know, to find out uh, athletes' uh, progress and uh, weaknesses and opportunities for improvement. And uh, the workout I'm going to be doing today is called Lynch Pin Test 8. And it consists of 21 deadlifts and 7 overhead squats for 3 rounds per time. And I'm going to demonstrate those two movements to you right now. Here we go. All right, so that first movement we have is the deadlift, in which I'll be using this uh, rucksack for in place of the barbell. But how that deadlift is gonna go, is each rep starts from the ground. You know, hips back, you know, flat back, butt down. Deadlift, stand up and lock it out. Lock out at the top. Again, from the ground, deadlift it, and stand up and lock out at the top. And that equals one. I'll be doing 21 reps of that. Now the second movement that I'm gonna be doing in this workout is overhead squats. And how that's going to go is uh, there's two ways you can do a, that overhead squat. Like after your 21st uh, deadlift, you can, you can either, after your 21st deadlift, you can either Snatch it overhead, and then you squat, you know, hips back, knees out, arms fully extended, go down to that squat, hip crease below, knee crease, and then stand up at the top, and that equals one. Or, if you're feeling foggy, you can go straight into that squat snatch. And that also equals one. I'll be doing seven reps of that. Or let's just say you finish all 21 deadlifts. And you can actually put the bar down, reset. And then transition back to the barbell. that squat snatch and then squat down again that equals one I'll be doing seven reps of this movement uh, once again so it's three rounds for time uh, the reps don't have to be unbroken So for the 21 deadlifts, you can break them up and split them up into three sets of seven. Uh, three different sets, let's say. Uh, seven, six, and eight, eight seven, and six. Uh, nine, six, and six or however you see fit. Now with the seven overhead squats, you wanna try and make an attempt to, to do those reps unbroken, if you can. You 
you definitely want to set a goal for yourself to try to finish this workout in sub 15 if not sub 10 and even if it takes you a whole 15 minutes to complete this workout or even longer Effort is effort. No matter, no matter, it's a huge effort or a small amount of effort. Little effort is better than no effort. Any effort is better than no effort. And, and that's what counts. Not just in this workout, but in anything you do. Uh, so uh, without further ado, here's today's workout. Lynch pin test number eight. Let's get it.
And that was today's workout. Lynch pin test number eight. And I finished this workout in four minutes and I think 11 seconds. And I'll find out my real time later, but that's under five minutes. Under 10 minutes, I should say. But that's a huge win on my part, even though I used a rucksack. But yeah, but yes, uh, I encourage every single one of you to give this workout a try. It's called Lynch Pin Test Number Eight. It's a uh, one of the tests from CrossFit Lynch Pin uh, Twelve. Well, one of the twelve tests because it's actually twelve tests of the Lynch Pin workouts. And, so, and they also call it the. Uh, Lynch Pin Dirty Dozen, which is once again created by Pat Sherwood. And it's meant to find out uh, in your, in your strength and your weaknesses and in your progress and areas of improvement. Yeah, the prescribed weight for this workout for the 21 deadlifts and seven overhead squats. Um, this is actually a 185. For the guys, for the women, I think it's the prescribed weight is like 115 or somewhere around that ballpark. I'm not sure, sure what the scale prescribed, prescribed weight is for this workout, but but if it's your first time using a barbell, I highly suggest you Take it slow and start light. And yeah, start light uh, on any barbell movement, especially the overhead squat and the deadlift. And, uh, And then you slowly uh, progress to a heavier weight as you uh, master, you know, the technique, the form, which are two important things. Oh yeah, and safety, that's number one. So yeah, lynch pin, test number eight, seven over, I mean, 12, 21 deadlifts, seven overhead squats, three rounds for time. And like I said, you definitely want to try to finish this workout in sub 10. If not, if not, then I don't rephrase that, but yeah, you definitely want to set a goal for yourself for this workout and try to finish this in uh, under 10 minutes or under 15. And if you happen to finish this workout in under five minutes like I did, and that's awesome. Let's say if it takes you uh, the whole entire 15 minutes or longer to complete this workout. 
that's all right too. And that's okay because it's all about technique. It's all about progress and it's all about effort and consistency. And making sure you do each repetition, especially of, of especially any barbell movement, uh, the right way and the correct way. In order to avoid possible injuries. Oh yeah, and another key tip I forgot to mention too is a. Uh, if you're going to use that squat snatch technique for your first rep, I highly suggest that you try your best not to look down as you uh, go for that squat snatch. And I'm saying this from, and the reason why I say it is because sometimes I do that. I look down to the ground when I go for that squat snatch, or squat clean for that matter. And I have to catch myself doing that. But yeah. And I get, it happens. Yeah, you, you definitely want to keep your eyes forward the whole time. Otherwise, you might end up dropping the barbell or a rucksack from overhead, while, especially while in that squat position. So yeah, definitely keep your eyes forward. And if you're gonna look down, don't look down for too long when you go down to that. Is a squat snatch or or squat clean? Definitely keep your eyes forward. Another and you know, a very uh, important um, life lesson I want to give to y'all today is is this. Uh, hold on. Oops. But yeah, but a life lesson I want to give to y'all to y'all today is this. Um, don't worry about other people talking bad about you, especially behind your back. Because those who try to bring you down, those who talk bad about you and you know, try to break you down, they're already below you, straight up. So therefore, never stoop to, you never want to stoop to their level. But you definitely want to rise above. You definitely want to rise above uh, other people's uh, negative opinions of you. Because the, the minute you the, the minute you start you begin to believe those negative opinions that people say about you 
the more disappointed you'll be. So therefore, rise above. And keep striving for, keep striving for greatness, no matter what. But yeah, keep doing what you're doing for Christ. And your life will forever uh, flourish. And your, let me rephrase that. You'll forever flourish and your life will be filled with miracles and blessings, straight up. It all starts with you. It's rehab time. Let's get it.